Stefan. New Atlanta cab driver believes he picked up the two men who ran from a crash that killed three women riding in the back of an Uber. They were in an SUV that allegedly blew right through a red light. The driver turned himself in and police are still looking for the passenger. Corrine Zell is live at the Amtrak station downtown where she talked exclusively with that cab driver. Corrine. George and Carol, the crash happened about three blocks from here. Now, this is where the cab driver says he picked up two men on the run. Neither one of them had any visible scratches on them, so I didn't think twice about taking them in my cab. Around 3 a.m. Sunday, Pat Hanley was getting ready to call it a night. He was parked outside the Amtrak station near 5th and St. Paul when he decided to pick up another ride. These guys came running up from the east and they were out of breath. The cab driver asked his two passengers what was wrong. They told me uh, that they were out of breath because their car had just been jacked. He suggested they call the police. The guy said, no, we've been drinking. We'll call him in the morning. Hanley dropped his riders off at 9th and Arthur. Didn't think about their unusual behavior again until Sunday evening when he heard about the deadly crash at 2nd and Clyborne on the radio and learned two men ran from the scene. And I realized these are the guys. Because it had to have been them. They came from the east. They were out of breath. They were running. The driver said he was floored. I was driving when I heard it. I had on, on Lake Drive. I had to pull over and collect myself. Hanley called police and turned over video from inside the cab of the two people he thinks ran from the tragic accident. A search warrant shows what police found inside the Lexus. This includes three cell phones, rolling papers, and Adderall pills. Reporting live outside the Amtrak station downtown Milwaukee, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. Corrine, thank you very much.